Hello my friends and welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And now I want you to imagine paint splatter jeans. Maybe you saw them on Pinterest, maybe you saw them in real life, or maybe you even tried to create such jeans yourself. Try to imagine them. Well, I guess you imagine something like that, or something like that, or something like that. But in my opinion, such well-known paint splatter jeans are not interesting, just boring and not creative. And actually, there is a way to create beautiful, interesting, creative paint splatter jeans. And I'm gonna show you how in this video, all the techniques, all the tips and tricks. So let's get started! Here is my jeans. I'm gonna paint on mom jeans, but you can paint on straight jeans, baggy jeans, any jeans you like. So first thing which I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a background for paint splatters. But not just some random brush strokes, but a background which will create an idea, a composition and which will give direction to paint splatters. Because I think that uh, jeans with an idea, with composition are much more interesting than jeans with just random brush strokes and paint splatters. But first I'm gonna put cardboard inside of my jeans to protect the back side of jeans from stains. So the idea of my design is to create two paint splatter waves at the lower part of the jeans. And for the background I'm gonna use black color fabric paint and big flat brush and I'm making such directional strokes which will show the direction of our future paint splatters. And at this point you can already create some small paint splatters by shaking your brush. Well, now when we have background for paint splatters, I'm gonna use paint pouring technique. The reason why I'm gonna use such technique, because if I just uh, splatter paint with brush, uh, paint splatters uh, will be small, there won't be much energy in them, uh, and the whole design will be just blah. <laughs> but uh, to create this energy, this flow, I'm gonna use paint pouring technique to create beautiful paint splashes. So for paint pouring technique you're gonna need paper cups with a small amount of water in them, just a little bit, a couple of drops. And I'm gonna use fabric paints of brand Pebel, uh, you can use uh, different brand fabric paints. I'm gonna use red color, yellow, turquoise and purple. And I'm starting with purple color, I'm adding purple to the cup with a small amount of water and mix shouldn't be too liquid or it will be hard to create beautiful paint splashes and also shouldn't be too thick or it will be impossible to pour paint on the jeans, it should be somewhere between. And now I'm squeezing cup to create kind of a neck and the same way as I was making strokes with brush, I'm moving my hand to create paint splashes. Next color is turquoise. You can also shake your cup to create rounded paint splashes. And even though I have an idea and composition here, I don't afraid that my paint splash will move in different direction, because that is the beauty of such designs, that the result is a bit unexpected. Thank you. 
you feel that you poured too much paint, you can remove excess of it with napkin. Well, now it's time to create paint splatters. And you know, I've been struggling a lot with paint splatters because I didn't know the right technique. I used to use brush or even toothbrush uh, to create paint splatters and I was doing something like that. And paint splatters were so small and so ugly. And also it's important to use fresh paint for paint splattering uh, because if your paint is a bit old and uh, dry, it will be so hard for you to create beautiful paint splatters. So the right technique is to dip your brush into fresh paint and then just throw paint with all your energy. You can imagine, you know, some of your ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend and just throw that paint with all your beautiful feelings <laughs> to that person. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the same colors, black, purple, turquoise, red and yellow. And you know, when I feel angry or upset, splattering paint is the best art therapy for me. <laughs> And now when front side of jeans is dry, let's look at the back side of jeans, let's check it out. Well, I have a couple of accidents there, but it's okay because I'm gonna connect front side and back side of jeans and I'm gonna uh, create a couple of paint splashes and splatters on the back side as well. And now is the most boring part of the whole process. <laughs> I hope guys I encourage you to create paint splatter jeans and if I did please tag me on Instagram, I would love to see your results. And please support this video with your like and if you are new here subscribe for more painting on close videos. And here is the final result.